We're here at Doncaster Racecourse, a venue that's synonymous with horse racing, having staged the sport here since 1595. It's a mixture of beautiful old Victorian architecture and modern facilities. It's staged everything from horse racing to boxing to dog shows. Let's go meet Rachel Harwood, Executive Director of Doncaster Racecourse. So I'm Rachel Howard, the Executive Director of Doncaster Racecourse. I joined at the beginning of the pandemic, back in 2020. I um, am in charge of all of this. Obviously, there are a few racecourses in the UK, if not the world particularly, that, that can compare in terms of the history that um, Doncaster Racecourse has. I mean, I was sort of this morning having breakfast and looking over at the old Victorian um, structure there. It's absolutely Gorgeous. I mean, how do you make sure that this building still retains that kind of position at the heart of horse racing? Uh, well, the home is flat, the traditional flat season. So we start the flat season with the Lincoln in March and we end with the November handicap, oddly enough, in November. Um, so the traditional home of flat racing uh, and we have the world's oldest classic, which is St Ledger. And we have memorabilia and the history of the race and all the horses that have running it sort of um, dotted around the race course. So it's a stunning setting, it's a stunning um, structure or structures, um, but in your mind really what sets this um, race course apart in terms of the facilities that you're able to offer and its, and its accessibility etc? I think it's just been able to provide spaces for everything from a 2000 seater conference down to an intimate conference or meal for five. You know, the space we have available, the, the rooms can be breakout rooms, there can be large banqueting suites, there can be restaurants. We can lay out marquees on the lawns. We have the space to do what we can do here. Um, and it's an ever-evolving beast at the moment. So, yeah, it's, it's great, you know, that we can do more or less anything you want. There's such a huge amount of flexibility here within this, within this facility. But can you talk me through some of the main spaces and what the capacities are? Um, in those in those spaces. Yep. So they, they obviously the main one we have is our exhibition hall located on the ground floor, um, and that as well has got great access for loading and unloading events, which is a massive. There's no lifts. It's just straight in, straight out. Really simple. Uh, that would be a conference for sixteen hundred to two thousand dinners up to thirteen fourteen hundred boxing matches. We have for that thou we couldn't do twelve hundred on those. Um, yeah, and then it's used as a race day area as well. So it is a really flexible space. All the main suites, except the exhibition hall, are all track facing. So when your clients walk in in the morning, the first thing they see is this fantastic race track. Obviously, Doncaster Racecourse is synonymous with Doncaster, and clearly it must be a beloved venue for locals. But you're very well connected here in terms of transport. You're very well close to the station and near to the motorway network. Can you just talk me through really how big the catchment area is for, for the race course? National and even international. I mean, from horse racing point of view, we have horses from Ireland, Australia. Um, from uh, our events point of view, again, all over the UK. We are oddly sort of in the centre of the UK. Uh, I think it's a similar distance from here to London as it is to Edinburgh. Uh, we have the A1, uh, we have the M18, uh, we have I mean, trains about every 15 minutes to London uh, from the central station. So it's it's really well placed for us to get to. We're surrounded by a massive logistics centre in terms of there's, there's so many companies around us that because it is so central to the UK. So we have um, we've quite a lot of organisations that will pull that may be disparately spread over the UK, but they will choose us to host their big meeting because we've got a hotel on site everyone's kind of going to have sort of an echo travel distance um, and it's easy to get in and out of Doncaster. This location has been staging horse racing since 1595. So obviously the history of horse racing here is long and impressive. But beyond horse racing, what are the kind of key areas and key events that this facility can stage? Uh, yes, yeah, so we build huge structures in our centre course uh, for when we do big race racing. So we do uh, a couple of huge outdoor shows here um, where people take over our grounds. Uh, we did a big shooting show, which stretches the kind of whole length of the, the race course. Uh, we ourselves produce music events. Um, so yeah, it it's, it's really depends on how far you want to push your imagination as to what you can do. 
So my name's Emma Cassidy, I'm Head Chef North and as part of my responsibility I look after Doncaster Racecourse and all the kitchens here at site alongside with a, a team of three other um, chefs on a permanent role. Now, what's the busiest day for you? Well, how big does it get in terms of the, the scale of the operation? Uh, last weekend we, we had 1,400 uh, of their staff here for Christmas uh, party night last Saturday. We have recent today where we've got hospitality is pretty full, uh, both in the main stand that we're sat in now, the ledger stand, and uh, we expect hopefully the bars and retail to be uh, very healthy and busy as well today. Uh, we're looking at meals today in the round of about 2,000, 2,200 meals just today, both in the race day hospitality and then with the addition of 821 people for dinner tonight. What would you think makes this, this, this venue special? What makes it special? Um, I think the, the, actually, the site itself, it, it's a very, very impressive site in terms of the scale when you see this, the main stand that we're currently sat in. Um, we have the addition of the hotel, uh, the green space, the lawn space beside us with the, be the beauty of the Victorian the original stand. But what really makes it for me is the, uh, the people and the, my work colleagues who work behind the scenes and front of house with customers and everything. Uh, that's what makes it for me.